photography is all I've ever done. It's all I've ever known, all I've ever seen. It's just in my blood, you know, being outdoors. I kind of got into it, it's a long story, but uh, basically my father was a photographer as well. I used to go with him on assignments all over. I remember the first trip we went on was a, a cattle drive in Idaho. There's been a lot of other experiences I've had with my father that just kind of trained me early on um, how to appreciate nature and how to work hard and, and also the rewards um, that you get from working hard. Um, and to me the rewards are, are twofold. It's out there seeing the beauty that God's made for us. And of course the second reward is coming back with the amazing image that you can share with other people. I always kind of get a couple shots back farther, insurance shots, you want to call them that. And I progress forward and just keep messing with the same composition so I get something really spectacular. But this is great the way these trees frame this whole scene with the sun coming through it and the snowflakes falling down. It's just gorgeous. Now, fine art photography, basically, no one really hires me to go out and do photography. I hire myself. And I go out and I photograph what I see, you know, what appeals to me, what my eye can capture. And then I bring those images back and then I publish them. Whether it's a calendar, whether it's a greeting cards, whether it's limited edition photographs that you see here in the gallery. And then people purchase that. Hopefully they connect with it. They can kind of connect to what I saw there, trying to put people where I was. About once a year I try to get outside of the state of, of Utah. Of course I've been along the, the western coast. I've been to Canadian Rockies. But just recently, about three years ago, I went to Base Camp of Everest. That was probably one of my most exciting trips I went on. And I spent a trekking trip there for three weeks. And that was awesome. The people there are just so lovable and humble and happy. But you know, honestly, I, I, I do love my home state, Utah. Um, it is kind of my niche. But Utah has a little bit of everything. You've got all seasons here. You got spring, you got summer, you got fall, you got winter. You got the red rock, you got the mountains, and so it's a really great place to be a photographer. Every single season has its own unique look, and I love it all. Um, I, I just love to get out after a fresh snowfall when there's you know one or two feet, and you just, the branches are just covered in snow, and it's just the serenity out there and the peacefulness of it, how the white just covers all the bushes and just all the busyness of life. It just makes it nice, clean slate, and simple and pristine. Of course, you got the spring, you got the wildflowers come out, and you got the snow capped mountains, and that's always really a treat. And of course, then summer, you go up a little bit higher, and then you got the wildflowers there too, and you got the full lakes and that are really pretty. But probably my favorite season would have to be autumn. I, to, I just love the red maples, the yellow aspens, and just the contrast that you can get with the different colors and the different shading. And of course, the best for me is when you get that dusting of snow and you get the fall colors. And, I'm out there every day, you know. If it snows and there's fall colors, see ya, I'm, I'm gone. But yeah, I just opened my gallery about a year ago. Things are going awesome here. It's great to be up here in Park City to showcase the work that everyone loves Utah and they come here from out of state and they can really appreciate it. Other than that, come visit the gallery. Uh, Park City is 580 Main Street or visit my website, willieholdman.com, check out some images, and maybe we'll see you on a mountain peak. Who knows?